Ab Central Station. So excited! Hey, comment and let us know where you guys are from. Please. And we tried to move the camera closer to me and further from Brooke, so maybe the sound will be better. You guys let us know. If I'm too quiet and Brooke's too loud, somebody comment so that we can fix it. Try. Welcome. Let's see. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of people in here. Woo! All right. Everyone's saying hi. Excited. They've been waiting for a long time. They wonder what the surprise is. You've been waiting a long time. We've been waiting forever. Seems like. Um, they love CSS. I've had butterflies in my stomach all day. Actually, since we posted this Friday. But especially today. <laughs> so excited. So in front of me, um, we have just, we're going to do feeding while you guys are answering questions, while you're asking questions and I'm answering your questions. Um, we're just going to feed our hermit crabs. So I can talk to you guys a little bit about kind of like a normal everyday kind of meal while we're doing this. Um, I think we will make the big announcement at 7.15, that way we give enough people time to get here. Um, we've just posted everything on our social medias again to let them know that we have gone live so that they can come on over and join us. Um, but while we're waiting for that official announcement time, um, I'm going to go ahead and feed our hermit crabs. And you guys can ask us questions about care. Um, now we've revealed the big tank in the crab room. That was a big secret we were keeping forever. So you guys can ask questions about that. We have um, more secrets. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we've been so busy. Quarantine, we had lots of ideas, let me just tell you. Um, yeah, and so, or you can ask questions about crab con, whatever, guys. So this is kind of like your time. Ask us some questions. We're going to make a big announcement. Uh, there's a little bit of, that goes with that announcement afterwards, and then we'll open it up for some more questions. Um, we're sure you'll have questions after our big announcement. So, um, so yeah, anyway, you guys go ahead and start asking questions. I'm going to start feeding the hermit crabs. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I have, too, um, in between your questions. So, um, you know, a lot of people ask us, you know, we don't have fresh food. You know, what can we feed them? And this is kind of two of our go-tos, and you can find this at Walmart, Petco, PetSmart, online, Amazon, that. They're pretty affordable, um, and they last, you know, a long time, and all of our crabs love it. So that's bloodworms, freeze-dried bloodworms, and um, baby shrimp. And if you have the captive-bred babies, they love, oh, spilling them. They love these little baby shrimps, but we um, kind of crush them a little bit. I don't know why we just do them. There's no really good reason why. Steve. All right, so we have some states, Minnesota, we have North Carolina, Ohio, New York, Canada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Austin, Texas, North Carolina, lots of states. That's so awesome, you guys. Oh, Kentucky. Hey, is it warming up up north? We had a cold front in Texas this weekend. I went, uh, Brooke and Emma, we took them to take their senior pictures yesterday. The high, what was it, Brooke? The high was like, well, it was supposed to get to 63, but I think it only got up to 58. It was cold. Yeah. It was cold. I mean, I know that's not cold, but it's cold for Texas this time of year. All right, so we talk a lot about protein and the importance of protein. It should be at least 50% of what you're feeding your hermit crabs. Now, I, I mean, you guys, I don't know if y'all can, can they see what's on the table? Yeah. Okay, so you can see all these dishes because we have a lot of hermit crabs, but still, each one of these dishes is going to be 50% protein, and the reason that's so important is um, to, so that you don't have aggression in your tanks. It's just such a big part of their diet, and so you want to make sure that you're offering them 50% um, protein. So those are bloodworm and shrimp, and now I have a mix from Hobo Hermy. And um, this is scavenger fuel sack, dumpster dive. We like Hobo Hermy food, our crabbies do too. And um, this also, this is, has a lot of protein, but it also has other things that they need in it as well. So it's a good kind of, like there's some foraging in here. I see carrots. I could look up the mix um, online at her website. She tells you everything that's in her mixes. I just can't remember off the top of my head what's in this particular one, but 
Um, it has a lot of protein in here. Okay, so Jack says, hi Darcy. Oh, it's Johnny actually, but their YouTube name is Jack. Hi Darcy, it's Johnny, the one you talk to sometimes. You are so nice and my birthday is seven days from now. I'm going to be 12. I am so excited about the giveaway. Awesome. Happy birthday early. That is it's actually so my birthday in a couple days too. Yeah. Nice April week. birthdays. All right. This person asks, why is my hermit crab's eyes gray and cloudy? Okay, so a lot of times that's a sign, a pre-molt sign is cloudy eyes. And so there might be a chance that your crab is getting ready to go down for a molt. Also, we have seen sometimes just after a molt that a crab's eyes might be a little bit cloudy um, when they first come up. So it can be that too. But it's not, it's nothing to be alarmed. Like that's, that's normal. This is jambalaya from um, Hermit Grub. Again, this is a mix that has vegetable, like there's okra in here, there's um, crab exo in here actually, I see. Um, oops, I spilled it. So there's jalapeno in here, it smells good. <laughs> All right, someone asks, if I get multiple crabs from the same tank at the pet store, can I put them all in their permanent tank at the same time, or should I separate them for PPD? Hey, that's a great question. You can put them all in one PPDS tank. Um, so the whole idea yeah, is to increase their heat and humidity gradually to kind of acclimate them to good conditions because they just don't come from pet stores, you know, they just don't have it. And really focusing on them eating and drinking so that, um, because almost always we see crabs that come from beach shops or pet stores or even if you rescue them like on Craigslist and, and um, like Facebook market and things like that, they're so deprived of nutrients, they're so deprived of deep substrate that they haven't molted in a long time, mostly, um, we see. And so when you do get them in a tank that has, what, hey, I have a little strawberry. You see him? I don't know. This is one of our new girls that was donated to our breeding program. Isn't she sweet? We don't have a name yet. What would she name her, y'all? Look. I love it when they come up to the glass to say hi. It's like she sees her food, y'all. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. When they have deep substrate like this, they dig down immediately. They, they want to molt. Um, however, if they haven't had good nutrition or hydration, they can't make it through the molt process. And they just pass away under the sand. And so that's what PPS is all about. Getting all that nutrition to them, all that hydration to carry them through that molt. That when you actually put them in their forever tank, they can withstand all of that. As well as just acclimate to you know proper humidity and heat. This is called birthday cake, also from Hermit Grub, and it's got more fruits in it, strawberries, bananas, apples. All right, how many Hermit Crabs do you have? Um, we have adopted some out recently, actually, and so I think right now we're at 43. Is that right? I thought we had 42. I feel like we are less. Maybe 40? But we got the two new strawberries. Oh, yeah. I think we're at 43 yeah, with yeah. the two new strawberries. Um, Hard to keep up, guys. We have, they come in, they go out. I know we're picking up another rescue crab from um, one of our friends here locally that we met through. We are? Crabs. Yep. Oh, and I she remember that now. rescued one from Craigslist, I think it was, and she actually put him through PPS for us because we've just um, had pretty full tanks with rescuing stuff recently. But he graduated PPS today actually and so we are um, going to be picking up a new foster crab this mm -hmm. week. And applesauce, you know, we got her a little while ago. She is still molting in the tank. Yeah, but she was, uh, she did, oh my goodness, hang on. We just got a super chat. Maya and Cash Forever says, hello from Chicago. I was wondering, I have two crabs in a 40 gallon. One is molting, but the other one has not been active. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, so how long have you had them? They're new crabs. Brand new, okay. Did you happen to go through PBS or maybe you didn't know about it when you got them? It's totally okay. Like, a lot of people don't know about PBS, so. Yes. Yes, what? Oh, um, a lot of people don't know about it. Okay. Um, let me see if they've answered. I think she said they're new. Maybe they're, did you say they were new or not? 
let us know Maya. I think that's how you pronounce I'll just, it. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just, I'll just talk about it. So okay, cool. Three years. Oh, wow, three years. Okay. So what are you, then I would be curious to see, what is your heat and humidity? Um, is your tank completely sealed? Um, what is your substrate? Um, how deep is your substrate? What are you feeding them? Um, unfortunately, you guys, the pellets that they sell in the store that say hermit crab food on them actually have toxins in them that keep your hermit crabs from growing and molting. They have molt inhibitors. And so if you've been feeding them the hermit pellets, that could have something to do with it. Um, like I said, I need some more information, but I'm happy to help you yeah. if you want some And you can also feel free to DM us for personal help if that mm -hmm. would be helpful. Facebook, Instagram, or you can email us at crabcentralstation at gmail.com and we can help you. Yeah. Though our email, getting back to our email is a little bit slower. Usually Facebook and Instagram is way faster. But thank you so much for the super chat. That is so nice. Thank you. That is our first super chat. <gasps> Woohoo! So thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. Also, if we're slow to get back to you, I'm sorry. There are so many people here. We got another super chat. Yes. Riptide Tidal Wave. Love your channel. Oh, Thanks it went away. Guys. How do I see it? Love your channel, my Krabby. Say hi. Well, our Krabby say hi back. So, since this is happening without us even asking, y'all are amazing. Um, any donations to the channel will go to the breeding program, which you guys are getting really close to breeding season. In fact, we've seen some mating behavior already in our tanks a little bit. We haven't seen any eggs yet, but we've Not, seen just yeah, mating. like courting behavior probably. Not yeah. actual mating, but like right, right, right. yeah, pairing off, kind of yes. being interested in each yes. other. And so we're really hopeful for a productive breeding season. So yeah, all the donations that's what it goes to. Um, it takes a lot. It takes a lot <laughs> to breed hermit crabs, and so. All right, just real quick, I've added super seeds, which is flax and chia and um, hemp seed. I added Granny's Garden from Hermit Grub and Pumpkin Spice from Hermit Grub, which was more um, vegetables and fruit. And then finally, I'm just going to top it off with some flour mix. Um, it's some good foraging. We've actually been putting flowers just along the sub for them to kind of crawl around and forage for. But since I'm here with you guys, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it in their dishes, which, you know, is fine too. Oh my goodness, we have another super chat. Y'all are so sweet. All right, um, this says, I love you guys, so happy to help with captive babies. Oh, oh my goodness, you. another one. Thank you. Oh we gosh. have another one from Riptide Tidalwood, and they say, name the strawberry crab Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Okay, that we have is two so girls. cute. We have two girls that we need to name for the, from, that were donated we, to the breeding yep. program. We're getting a couple names. So Jelly Bean from Riptide Tidal Wave, Applejack, Iris, Mango, Coconut, Strawberry, Pepperoni, uh, pink lady, shortcake. They're so um, good. What we have another super chat. Y'all are so awesome, guys. Um, so Lisette, I'm not quite sure if I said that <laughs> yes, right, but I was I was emailing, I think, or DMing. Yes, yeah, she says Matthew says hi. We love your <gasps> hi, channel, Matthew. Team Crab Central Station. Yay! Oh my goodness, another super chat. Thank you, Diane. There's not a message with it, but thank you so thank much. You. Oh my, we came here hoping to give away to you guys. <laughs> y'all are exciting. Y'all are so sweet. Um, let's see if we can find. Oh, it's one minute until the announcement. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna share with you guys the last thing that I put. It's just in this little tiny bowl right here. This is crushed oyster shell and cuddle bone, um, grated nice and fine for our captive bred babies. They go through this stuff like water, really. So <laughs> they, if you get captive bred babies, this is an absolute must. They do like it to be grated or like finely crushed like this. And we actually have to put a dish like this in there every three to four days. So, cause they are molting all the time and you know, for the captive bread, um, yeah, if we can get some babies to land this year, we'll be putting that stuff <laughs> in every day. So it'll be so many. All right, so just in case you didn't miss what we said before, any money we get from Super Chats goes straight into the breeding program. Actually, one of the first things we want to buy with any money um, is going to be a microscope so that the footage we get this summer will actually be good <laughs> because I don't, uh, basically what happened last summer is that 
the babies are so small it's very hard to get them on camera especially when the numbers go down because mm -hmm. it's there's so few of them um so we didn't have yeah. a lot of good footage and there's so few people breeding hermit crabs in captivity that literally there's just very little science behind it right now and so we're learning so much um, you know, when they actually have mouth parts and start eating, um, when they, their pinchers get there, like which stage of, you know, changing and does that all happen? And so a microscope would help us to actually see those transitions and those developments, which helps us to then change what we're offering them in food um, and, you know, to know what they're doing on the bottom of the chrysal, for instance. We thought they were cannibalizing, but that may not have been the case. Um, they're just so, so tiny. So a microscope would be helpful just on the science side of things because ultimately the goal is to get, you know, more breeders so that we don't have to do captive catch anymore. Um, and so we need to make this process, you know, accessible to more people. So. Oh my goodness, we have another super chat from Emily and she says, love what you do. Y'all hey, are so sweet. So that's more that's going to go into the breeding program. Okay. I love, I'm, I'm uh, recognizing a lot of your names. It's so All right. cool. So, is it time? it's time for the announcement. Okay, okay. can y'all hear us okay? Can you hear us really loud and clear? Because this is important. I need to drink of water for this one. I, I hope I didn't click. Okay, I think we're good. You can hear us? Okay. Audio is perfect. They're ready. Okay. Let me make sure. Okay. So. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we have two, actually, announcements for you. Two projects that we have literally been working on since uh, quarantine, since COVID hit last March. And it just kind of, these ideas started coming to us and we're like, you know, what can we do? This, you know, we want to get the word out there. We need to educate and advocate. And what else can we do besides videos? And so two projects were, I don't know, came to came to mind. And so the first one, which actually we've kind of given you guys some sneak peeks in the last couple of videos. Maybe you have picked up on that. If you haven't, you'll have to go back and check out the last, I think, three or four videos and see if you can, um, if you can find it. But tonight we announce, launch, and bring to you... Drum roll. Crab Central Station merch. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. So this is Sweet Tea right here. This is a cropped hoodie. So comfortable. I wear this one to school. My students are going to be so excited because they've been waiting for this launch. You know, we kind of just ordered some stuff for ourselves to try out, make sure it was good quality, how it felt, wash it and see that it, you know, washes well and wears well and stuff like that. So uh, my students are like, Madison, <sighs> what are we going to have? you know, access to it. I'm like, soon, soon. Anyways, so that's, um, yeah, just a cropped hoodie. And then we have regular hoodies. This is Tex. I love this one. I wear all the time. We have some baseball tees. Um, we have mugs. Stickers. Um, cell phone cases. Laptop protectors, um, what else am I missing? Right, just all kinds of t-shirts, like all kinds Backpacks. of t-shirts. Backpacks, bags, um, yeah, lots of things, you guys. So super excited. All the different CCS crew um, characters are on all these different things. We try to include as, as many as possible on all the different products. If there's a product out there, you know, on, on our store that you guys love, but it's not the character you love, please just let us know because we can create more merchandise. We can continue to add to the shop. So if you don't see what you want, please, please just let us know because we will definitely add that to the store. Um, but yeah, so this is our Craft Central Station merch. And here's the thought behind it. So first of all, some of you guys have been asking for merch, which made us really excited, you know, as we were working on this, um, this whole year, just creating all these designs. But also, I think it really just matches our mission as, a, as Crab Central Station um, to educate and advocate. So I know that every time I wear one of these shirts or sweaters, somebody asks me about that character about hermit crabs every single time. It doesn't matter where I go. 
And so it just gives me the opportunity to advocate for hermit crabs. Like it opens up a conversation where somebody's approaching you and you get to say, hey, you know, this is actually, this is what goes on. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm out here advocating and educating for the proper care of hermit crabs. And I can't tell you the amount of people when you tell them, you know, oh, well, you know, I have a channel about hermit crabs or I have hermit crabs as a pet. And they're like, oh, I had that when I was a kid, yeah. And they all, I mean, we had them for a couple of weeks or a month or whatever. Almost always that's kind of the response, right? Which opens the door for us to say, guess what? These are like forever pets. These, these guys can live so long if they're properly cared for. And they're amazing because so many times people say, oh, I never saw them. They always hid or they buried and never came up or whatever. And, and that just gives us a chance to say, you know, if they have the proper environment and the proper diet, then they're active and you can see them. They're so interesting. Like, I don't know, you can tell I'm a little bit. Like, <laughs> We're very passionate about it. Very passionate. Everyone is so excited. <laughs> and uh, so what did we announce if there's new people? Merch. Guys, we have <laughs> Crab Central Station merch. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm so, like, finally, we can tell you. We've been like keeping that in for so long. All right, so, so are you guys ready for the second yeah. announcement? Yeah, you kind of have to buy the merch somewhere. Right, so where are you gonna get your merch? So the second big announcement is that we finally have a website, www.crabcentralstation.com, and we um, have built this website, you guys. Like, we built this website. I'm so proud of it. Brooke and I have put in tons of hours um, trying to build something that is useful for you guys um, and also useful again towards our mission of reaching more people with education um, and advocacy. And so we wanted one, you know, one place that you could go to and find everything Crab Central Station and in addition to that, find everything you need to be a successful hermit crab um, taker, keeper, keeper, mm -hmm. taker, carer of. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so yeah, so we have a website. Now, on the website is our merch shop, and so that's where you can go and, and find all of your merch, but also some other really cool perks of our website that you don't have on our YouTube channel is our breeding um, blog. And so we have both of our attempts from last summer completely blogged, like every emotion we had, <laughs> all the ups and downs, the nitty and gritty, um, literally, you guys can see, I mean, a lot of details about breeding um, and the difficulties of it and the emotional roller coaster that it is. Also, we have never before seen footage of our breeding attempts, and um, I actually cried when I watched it the other day because I hadn't seen it, you know, in almost a year now, and um, we were working on that page, you know, a couple weeks ago, getting it finished, and it's so beautiful like it is so beautiful to watch Gunther spawn and it's just nature's it's just amazing so anyway there's videos on there that have never been seen before um, also on the website is um, different shops that we um, use the products in our tanks all the time and so it's just super easy for you guys to go to that one place and you can find safe hermit crab safe products and the links go directly to the shops where you can purchase the things. Um, we also have all of our links to what we buy on Amazon and Chewy. We've told you guys, you know, about that too. And it's in the description of our videos, some of those things. But we, again, we wanted this one place that you could go and find everything that you would possibly need. And so it's all on the website. And also, and this is, you know, the broader picture of things of anybody, even if they're not a Crab Central Station, you know, fan or somebody who's found us on YouTube, if they found our website, they would also find Crab Street Journal and all of the care guides in text form. Some people like to read, you know, like YouTube's not for everyone, but they can still get all the tips and care guidelines that they need, um, as well as a link to Lycos so that they have a community of people to share their experiences with and have the help that they need and that sort of thing. Um, and so those are also linked on our website. We um, will feature a special um, hermit crab food vendor or decor vendor that we have used each month. We'll, we will kind of give them a little highlight so you can check back each month at who's in the spotlight. Um, and yeah, I don't, am I forgetting anything? 
No, the whole, all, the entire website is hand built by us. We did not pay anyone to do it. We didn't have yeah. much help with it. So if you find something not yeah. working, <laughs> that's how I was about to go with that one. <laughs> yeah, let us know because it's possible yeah. there's a glitch here and there. Like I said, this is this is the big launch, guys. So we have we've spent a ton of time on it, but we absolutely could have missed something. Mm -hmm. So let especially us know. when you stare at it for <laughs> several hours. Yes. Um, so you know if there's something spelled wrong, even any tiny detail, please <laughs> yes. DM me on Instagram and I will fix it right away, you guys, because we want it to be top notch. Yes, um, for sure. But now we. <laughs> so here's the thing with the giveaway. Yeah, where um, you all have been waiting for the what giveaway. What you been waiting for? Yes. So you know we thought about like. Again, we want to reach as many people. We're at pretty much going into hermit crab souvenir season. The kids are about to be out of school. They're gonna be taking beach trips. Um, and that's just kind of when a lot of people really get into getting hermit crabs. And so we want you know, the proper care to get to people as quickly as possible so that they don't waste a lot of money. I know we did in the beginning. We wasted so much money on products that were not safe. Um, and it just took us a while, you know, to get it right and get to where we needed to be. So the quicker we can reach people with the correct care guidelines, the better off their hermit crabs will be, the better off that they are. And honestly, guys, some people might not get hermit crabs once they realize, you know, what's involved. And so um, that would also be helpful. And so the way that we want to do this, we are, we are asking you guys, our viewers, our subscribers, um, all of you that are familiar with Crab Central Station, we need to get the word out. And the best way to do that is um, through Google um, recommendations and reviews. And so what we'd like you to do is first of all, head over to Crab Central Station on YouTube and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you have to be a subscriber to be in the giveaway. So subscribe and then on the channel, comment that you're entering the giveaway because your YouTube username might not be the same as your Google review name, and so we need to be able to match you guys up. So anyways, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment that you're entering the giveaway. Then go to our website, www.crabcentralstation.com. On the bottom of the homepage is a Google review. So five stars, please. Uh, five stars if you guys think that we're doing a great job and that people should watch our videos and um, you know, read our information and, and follow our links and that sort of thing. And then leave a comment about Crab Central Station, maybe a testimony even, like how, how our videos have helped you or what you've learned through our videos um, and that sort of thing, your experience or, or whatever. So just some kind of comment about Crab Central Station um, and that will give us your name there on your Google review to match up with your YouTube subscriber name and then that will enter you into the giveaway so here's what you will get so first of all we have a 2020 official 2020 vip crabcon bag from last crabcon it's a very nice little tote here and then inside of your tote i'll show you all the goodies in here that we have for you so we have some strawberry banana crisps here, food. I was telling you guys, this is, you know, we use this all the time. So we have some blood worms. We've got jambalaya from Hermit Grub. Um, minnows from Mary Acres Shop, as well as azomite, azomite from Mary Acres Shop. We have some Timmy's Turf and Surf from Hermit Grub, birthday cake from Hermit Grub. I tried to feed some of these things tonight. I don't know if y'all picked up on that. <laughs> <laughs> and then from BioFX we have some Crab XO, fish bone mix, blue spirulina, and cherry powder. We also have a bag of foraging mix from Hermit Grub. These are flowers and leaves and things like that. We have some catapa leaves from, I believe this is from Lyco or Crouchy Journal. We have a bag of worm castings. So this is a company that sent us 
um, this to do a review, and this is our last bag. Our mm -hmm. hermit crabs love his worm castings. Oh yeah. So we're sending you guys our last bag of that. Um, and then we have a Mary Acres sunflower feeding dish, handmade by her. And then we have a What Do Hermit Crabs Do at Night by Macy Burnett. So this book, this author will be at CrabCon talking about this book that she wrote. And our very own Brooke actually wrote the care guide that's going to be given inside of the book. And so that's kind of fun as well. <laughs> And then finally, in addition to all of this good stuff, we are going to include a coupon for you guys to go to our merch shop and pick out any one item that you want. And we would be happy to gift you with the item of your choice in addition to all of this for our giveaway. So I hope that this is a good incentive for you guys to head over to our website, check out our merch shop, Read our blog about our breeding program. A lot of you guys have donated tonight. Thank you so much. And it would be great for you to know what that's going toward. Um, and then also to review Crab Central Station so that, honestly, so Google likes us, so more people can find us and get that information quickly as we head into Hermit Crab Souvenir um, season. So that, you guys, is the big news and the two huge projects that um, we have been working on since last March, so I hope that you're as excited about it as we are um, And I hope that you guys really love the website and having everything in just that one place um, Pretty much anything you need and again if we're missing something that you wish we had there Just ask us like we are happy to continue adding and updating um, You know all the time so that we have have everything there for you. Yep, and if you forget how to enter the giveaway don't worry because after this live Maybe tomorrow we are going to upload a video that is just about the announcement and the giveaway, so you can read it all there. Um, when is we didn't say when? Or yeah, so the time it opens limit right now. We're opening it right now since we our announcement is out there. We have now launched our website. We've launched our merch, so go check it out. And we will close this window for the giveaway at midnight on May second. So that's two weeks. Mm -hmm. So two full weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we have several people not sure where to put the comment. So you can put the comment on any video. Just do like I entered the giveaway or something so that we know that that's you entering. It's just so we can verify that you're subscribed to our channel. Um, and then do you want to just repeat the instructions one more time? We'll post sure. it on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube after. Yeah, sure. But we'll just say it one more time just in case. Yeah. So, um, so yes, so just subscribe to the channel and, and comment anywhere. We get a notification anytime somebody comments. So we'll find, we'll find your comment um, and just comment in there entering the giveaway. Um, and then go to the website and at the bottom of the homepage is a review. It's, we even put it in a big white box so that would be really stick out for you guys. We've got testimonies on one side and then we've got the review on the other mm -hmm. side. And um, you're just going to click the review, so it has five stars, so give us the amount of stars you think we, we deserve. And then um, it will give you the opportunity to leave a comment, and that can be either a testimony or just, you know, anything. Any, you know, keep up the good work, or we recommend Crab Central Station, or, you know, watch the, whatever you guys feel like leaving your comment. Um, and then in that comment, make sure you put your YouTube name so that we know we can link your two things together. Yeah. So then um, that will pitch your name in the drawing. Mm -hmm. So we'll be writing all of your names down and put it in a drawing. Mm -hmm. And you'll get all of this here plus the coupon to get anything from our merch store that you want. And one item from the I guess I should say everything you want, but one item of your choice from um, the shop. Yes. And we'll mail that package off to you. Um, so midnight, May yep. 2nd, we will close this giveaway. Yep. And if you are below 18 or still living under your parents' house, make sure you have permission to enter because we do have to send a package to your address. We won't give the address to anyone or keep it. Once we send the package, we won't remember it. But please make sure you have permission from your parents before entering our giveaway. Um, but yes, we will put up the instructions in yeah. many places. So, and it's open for two full weeks. And Entering right now won't change from entering two weeks from now, so yeah. don't worry about it if you want to just yeah. Do it later. That's totally okay But yeah, those are the instructions. That's the giveaway. Are you guys excited? 
I feel like everyone's going off to our website now. <laughs> Y'all, if you head, if you are looking at our website on a separate screen, tell us what your favorite thing on there is. Also, if you find something broken, please mm -hmm. let us know. You can message me on Instagram, Facebook, and we'll get it fixed. Look, I can breathe. I'm like, it's out. It's done. I, like, uh, I felt like that about the tanks in the room, too. Like, there were so many videos, you guys, that we were recording, like, around my house because this room was torn yep. apart. We had a couple, like, <laughs> tank reveals in the bedroom, a yeah. couple, like, random videos yes. in, like, where our one tank was still set up. Yeah. Because <laughs> we couldn't reveal. That's why a couple oh of our goodness. backgrounds we, were This was the last one we put in, actually. So this tank was the first one. This was the last one. Anyways, and so we're just waiting for crabs to come up from molt to like put them in tanks and stuff. It was just taking so long to finally get all those crabs up and finish the project. And I feel like so excited we could finally, now we can finally tell you guys, like we can come live in the crab room. It's awesome. <laughs> Someone said that um, they actually saw our website earlier today because it came up on Google. That's what we've been worried about because we just, you know, we've been working on this website for several months, but we just got it connected to, like, whatever Google, Google does Google. to push it up to the... Thing. Yes. So we yeah. were like, oh, no, people are going to find it. to um, declare yourself like a business with Google. And so that was, you know, once we had the website built and the merch shop built and all that. And then the last step was kind of to connect it to Google um, so that we would come up in search engines like you saw. So I'm so excited that we actually came up in your search engine. Um, but yes, that's what we're trying to do with this giveaway is so that when people go out and get their souvenir hermit crab and they, you know, they type in hermit crab, how to care for a hermit crab, that our website will come up because then they'll have all the products that they need. They will have videos to watch right there on how to take care of them. They will have literature in the in the Crab Street Journal, um, which also has more links to you know a lot of good products and things that are all crab safe. Um, and so that's kind of like our goal is you know to be to be the first one that comes up in the search engine because obviously then we can catch people you know before they get the wrong information and purchase a lot of things that they don't need to and you know. That was so frustrating to us in the beginning. Like, to be honest with you, I almost stopped. I almost was like, this is crazy. Like, you can't trust anything, and you go here, and there's one person tells you this. You... And so we were about yeah. to just be done with it. Um, and that's kind of when our idea for this station came up. We're like, no, like, we, this is a need. We, need. we need to find the correct information and have it all mm -hmm. accessible in one place. Yeah. So, crafts um, the station. Jack, if you go to our home page and scroll pretty much all the way down, there will be a little box with two thumbs up, a thumbs up and a thumbs down, and that is where you can review. You click the whichever thumb you want, and then you should be able to write yes. a review. Oh, and Camelia, I think I said your name right. You just sent us a $5 donation. Thank you Thank so you. much. Oh my goodness, you guys are so sweet. Yes, yeah, so if you go to thumbs up, that's kind of, and then it will take you to the Google review, yeah. which is the stars in the comment. If you do a thumbs down, it will still allow you to comment and give us a review. Um, and it's all attached to Google too. Like the negative ones are also attached to um, Google. And so then we can know what we need to change or, you know, what we're doing. Yep. Um, so. Um. So it's pretty simple. If you have problems, feel free to message us. We can help you out. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we want it to be as easy as possible. Um, Jerry, Anonymous Jerry says, how could you do a pool, though? I'm a bit confused, honestly, how it works. This big, of, like a pool behind me, this size? So, um... We have a video coming out on yes. that. <laughs> we have had a lot of, that's probably our number one question oh. since we re revealed the tanks, actually, were these big pools. And so we actually already have a video recorded. Um, we're just working on editing that video. It should be out... I think it's soon in a four weeks. Well, we upload every two weeks, so there's one more in front of it. Yes. Um, and so yep. it's coming soon, yep. and we go over how to do that yep. and what to think about and the different types of containers and the products that you'll need and the maintenance of it, actually. Um, that video, will talk about all of that. Yep, but we also have a basic Hermit Crab Pool video you yes. can watch, and you can also personal message us for help now if you don't have time to wait for the video. Yeah. We're happy to go on that one-on-one. -on -one. And um, Johnny, I am so sorry that I called you Jack. That is 
my bad because you did tell us in the beginning so I'm sorry Johnny um, they're confused about how the giveaway is going to work okay so once you enter it will be a random drawing we are we're gonna probably do another live stream yeah. um, doing the random drawing so everyone that wins will go through the entries write everyone's name down and then we will either do a wheel spinner type thing or oh papers that we're gonna uh, probably the wheel so we can show everyone that we got everyone entered yeah. um, so but there's just yeah. an online like giveaway kind of uh, it's like the a wheel of fortune almost and you yeah. enter you enter every person that's available for the giveaway it puts them in a wheel their name in a wheel and then you just like click you know the space bar and the wheel spins automatically and then it lands on whoever wins the giveaway and then it, we'll do it live so everybody can watch and then you'll know who the winner is and um you know then we can get your address privately and all that kind of stuff so. yep and if you can't find the website some people are saying they can't it is www.crabcentralstation.com or you can click the link I just put in the chat right there. Um, if the site isn't loading, I'm sorry guys, but there might be a lot of people on it. Oh. And so I'm, I'm sorry if it's not loading. We can look at it from our end and see if there's something we can do. If not, try refreshing your page or maybe going in a different browser. Uh, we're getting reviews. I can see them coming in on our phone. Oh. We're getting reviews online. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. I got yours, Billy Church, Tatum. I I'm getting y'all's reviews. So yeah, we can see them right on our phone as soon yeah. as you make them. I love that I can recognize y'all's names. That's, <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Um, tiny Wings. We're oh. going to have to have live CrabCon where we can all get together. Yes, and, and you can meet all of us. That would be so cool. I would love that. Probably next year. I'd love to meet all of you guys. Yeah. I'm pretty sure next year. I think next year's going to be live. Yep, in person. In person. Um, That's true. It is live this year. Like it's live, but not in person. Okay. I wow. We have a lot of reviews. They're coming in. <laughs> they're coming in like every awesome. few seconds. Awesome. When do you guys get a chance? So yeah, the merch shop is on the website. Also, like I said, those breeding videos. If you go to Journey to Land, that's um, what we. That's what we call our breeding program is Journey to Land because it's. It's from the start of mating to the spawning to all of the changing into the megalopa when they finally get to land, molt, and become an actual land hermit crab. And so we just thought, like, our whole idea behind Crab Central Station is that we're all on a journey. Mm -hmm. And this is this is our breeding, you know, our, our breeding program, our journey of taking, you know, eggs to, to land. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. what we call journey to land. If you missed how to enter, don't worry. So there are two weeks to enter. May 2nd is a cutoff date. And we are going to be posting on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and YouTube, the community tab. And our website. And our website. <laughs> oh, we have to do that. Um, how to enter. So yeah. you have two weeks. It'll be all good. Yeah. Um, we have a, another super chat from yeah. Fabi. I think I'm saying that right. And they say, thank you for everything you ladies do for the hermit crabs. Aww. You're welcome. Thank you for supporting us. We couldn't do this without you guys. This person says they're in Ecuador. So can they enter the giveaway? It's a good question. Can we mail things to Ecuador? We will get back to you because you know what? We didn't think about that, honestly. Hmm. The merch, I'm pretty sure, ships to most countries. You'll have to check on the website if it ships to you. You know what, enter. Go ahead and enter. And if you win, we might not be able to do this stuff. We might not be able to mail this to you, but we can do our merch that would be sent directly mm -hmm. to you. And then we could give you other coupons like from, I don't know where if you can order from like Etsy shops and things like that. If, or, um, you know, honestly, like enter and we'll figure it out. If yeah. you're the winner, we'll figure something out. Yeah. We'll make it worth your yes. time. Yes. Also, if the shop is slow or the website is slow i'm really sorry we're gonna have to try and figure that out because honestly you can't really test the speed of, the it. Speed of it until the traffic's on it <laughs> and right up until now it's just been us on it so uh we'll you know there's gonna be some things we have to work out after launching yeah. but thanks for helping us test all this yes you guys. If you had educational pamphlets, I would love to bombard my local beach shops with them. So that's a great idea, and I will make some probably this summer. Yeah, we made them for, I mean, she made them for this little book right here, and that's a great idea. Um, and we could, 
We could just put that on the website. That could be yep, printed. Yep, downloaded. <laughs> yeah. We'll be happy to send you some business cards if you'd be interested in that um, because it has all of our information on that. Um, and, yeah, if you want to deem, if you want to direct message us your um, address, we'll be happy to send you some business cards. Oh, yeah. We're going to be sending a lot of people business cards, aren't we? <laughs> That's great. That, that is great. And oh, you yeah. guys are, like, joining us on our mission to get the word out. Yep. Especially if you live, you know, near these beach shops, it's the best thing that we can do is just get... Billy says, shopping. send me so many cards. Yeah. yeah I, we, we're waiting for events to start opening up so we can use our business cards. Hopefully yeah. COVID will end soon. Sure <laughs> yeah, DM us if you want cards. Um... Someone ask about a betta fish? Hey, I've had a betta fish. Don't even worry. If you have questions about betta fish, you can still DM me on Instagram. I We have experience with other animals other than hermit crabs, too. Yeah. We just feel like this, is, this was really where there's just such little information or misinformation. Tremendous amount of misinformation. Mm -hmm. And so we just felt like this was really... a something that was needed. Yep. Truly. Yes. The captive bird baby is like, let's see on that toy, toy a lot of hysteria. Oh my goodness. The captive bird babies came for the launch. They did. <laughs> um, if you're wondering if we can ship to you, yes, we are going to figure it out. Um, everyone in the U.S. will definitely be able to ship. Yeah, Outside of the U.S., we might have to change what we're sending um, to get it to work out, but yes, we'll, f yeah. we'll get it all figured out. So California, yes. Um, and how do you enter? We will, you have two weeks to enter, so you'll, we will be posting a video, Instagram, Facebook post, community tab post on the rules, so you don't have to, we're not going to them again, but, uh, in the live, but we will be posting it after. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Basically, the premise behind it is to get, um, reviews to Crime Central Station so that we can be higher on Google search, mm -hmm. so that... When people who just buy hermit crabs and they don't know how to take care of them, which, I mean, I know I was that person, so maybe you were that person too, that um, when they type in hermit crab care or how to take care of a hermit crab or what to feed a hermit crab, you know, all those different things, you know, the more reviews and visits, the more subscribers we have, the more watch time we have, like all that stuff, you guys, goes into the whole Google algorithm which then helps us to be first in the search. And so that way, people who really have no idea how to care for hermit crabs, don't first go and get wrong information or misinformation before they finally, you know, come to the correct information. And a lot of times they either give up um, because they're frustrated about the amount of money that they've wasted or that it's not helping or their crabs die before they get the right information, um, sadly. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the quicker we can get them the right information, they might decide not to buy hermit crabs or, um, if they do, they'll know what's involved yes. and they'll be prepared. And so that's, mm -hmm. that's our whole goal behind launching the website, behind launching merch, behind giving this, uh, doing this giveaway tonight. Um, you guys, that's, that's what mm -hmm. we're, we're doing that. You're joining us on our mission. So mm -hmm. thank you. So anonymous Jerry says, um, I'm struggling to find a regular vendor for food. Do you all actually sell food or have anyone you suggest? So, <laughs> We do not sell food yet. We do not yet. sell food yet. We um, may or may not. We don't have plans for it. It's not, that's not like a tricky thing. We, we've not even thought about it yet. Yeah. We've but maybe in the future. We've gone back and forth, but to be honest with you, anon is Anonymous Jerry, right? Anonymous, Anonymous Jerry. Jerry. Anonymous Jerry. To be honest with you, there are so many good vendors that sell wonderful food items that, um, you know, we could make our own, I guess, because you guys would know Crab Central Station, it would be there, mm -hmm. and you would trust us, but we we have, we use other people, like, we're spreading the love, you know, we're helping other people um, also advocate, they have missions to want to, you know, offer better food for hermit crabs, and we want to support them on that, and so on our website, we have links to um, some of the, the different food vendors that we use consistently. Um, and we'll be adding more and more to the to the website. Um, you know, like I said, we're we're just launching it and getting started, but um, there definitely will be more. So pretty much anytime we do an unboxing for um, a company that we use consistently and that we have found our hermit crabs really love, 
then we'll add them to the shop so that you guys have new things coming in. Um, yep. You know, as we test them. And yep. Stuff, so. But on our website, uh oh, I got a thing on my phone, so hopefully it didn't pause. But yes, on our website, there are some links there, and yes. we will be adding more. Yes. So Julie V just sent us another super chat. <laughs> uh oh. I clicked something on accident. Um, it says, won a crab at a carnival when I was younger in a cheap, uh oh, it scrolled down for me, in a cheap cage and was sad when it died. Your channel informed me what went wrong and I'm thinking of adopting this summer. Keep it up, love the channel. Yes, I love that, what a great story. Please adopt, yeah. I mean, if you want captive bred babies, we ha Mary has a lot that still need homes, you guys, and this summer we'll have even more. Um, but also, if you go to like it, actually they, on our website, mm -hmm. there is an, uh, there's a link to adopt on our website. It takes you to the application process, and there might be hermit crabs in your area that need a, to be adopted, and they're full, you know, grown hermit crabs. Mm -hmm. And so that's a great way, instead of supporting the industry, that you can still enjoy hermit, hermit crab as a pet, um, help somebody else who's needing to get rid of them for whatever reason. Could be health, could be cost. You know, I, who knows? You know, everything's mm -hmm. happened. So, you know, you're helping all the way around. So I love that. And just to say it again, any donations we get from the super chats, or we also have a donation button on our website, which mm -hmm. apparently doesn't work, but we'll double check it for you guys. Um, any of that money is going straight into the breeding program. And the first thing we are buying is a microscope. <laughs> yes, yes. Because well, they're. Also, some uh, everything we need the food, food, <laughs> water. Actually, we don't need salt water because we have a giant, we have a lot of salt. Yeah, it should get us at least started in the room. It depends on how many batches we get to, you know, to try with. Mm -hmm. But the foods that you need are kind of pricey, um, and you go through a lot of it. So, and yeah. salt is expensive. We bought a 50 pound bucket, yeah, because we had run out in the middle, <laughs> middle of our try, and we yeah. had to rush to go find some. Yeah. All right, let's see. Da, da, da. Congrats on the pants change. Oh, I guess someone's. Oh, Evelyn's hermit crab changed shell. Yay. I, <clears throat> that's so great. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with all of these comments. That is so awesome. Um, do, do. We you, get a lot of comments, you guys, about you know hermit crabs not being active and how do we how are our hermit crabs so active? I can tell you it's all about having the right environment and feeding the right mm -hmm. foods. Um, yes, we have a big tank, but even when we didn't, I mean, we had all of these tanks in our house before, they just weren't all combined. Mm -hmm. So, and all the crabs were just split yeah. up in between them. And they were still active in all of their own individual tanks. Well, some of them, so it, it still does depend on personality because we do have true. some crabs that aren't active. That is true. So, in, even if you have, did y'all see that wheel? Someone fell or something dragging yeah. the wheel with it. Um, so keep in mind Monica. that there are some hermit crabs that won't be active because they're just shy. Uh, but yeah, we ha we still do have a lot of active crabs. I don't want like people to be like, oh but no, even I even that, care. even the ones that are yeah. like totally like they're not real active on the wheel or walking around all the time. They're still out and about. Yeah. you know, like they're not dug under the substrate yeah. hiding. You can see them eating, all drinking year, water. All night. Yeah. So we have a bunch of our purple pinchers, especially that they they hang up. Can you see? I guess can you see up there? Or no. Yeah, like some of it, okay. not all of it. So they love this topper the most, with all this toya wood and cork rounds. This is their favorite. And there's a lot of purple pinchers that just like hang out up there, and so they're not necessarily active walking around, but they're out and you see them and they come and eat and they get in the water and stuff. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of them that walk around and get on the wheel. We have the saucers and. The vertical wheel. Which, oh, we need to post that. Yeah, we're gonna. We have a DIY for you guys on how we did this vertical Might wheel. Might have to be a bonus video. And um, so in this big tank, we have both saucers and this wheel. They we actually both. ended up buying a second vertical wheel a couple weeks ago, and we'll be putting it in the beach side because they love this vertical wheel. I don't know what it is. They always used the saucers before we had that, but once we put that in there, they prefer. That. There is almost always someone on that wheel. Yes. All right, let's see here. Do, do, do. And foraging, I cannot stress enough. The foraging items, I think, are so important to their diet. You know, they live near beaches, but mostly they live kind of in the tree and foresty areas near the beaches. And so, I mean, leaves and moss and bark, as 
I think makes up a large part of their diet. Um, and then they do forage for like the protein, you know, that in nature, they're going to forage for dead things that come up on the beach and, you know, bugs and stuff like that. But, you know, they, they eat so much foraging mix that we leave on the sub for them. It's really quite incredible. Yeah. They eat a lot. Yeah. All right. So Janet says, you are the angels to the crab world. They needed this for a long, long time. I've learned so much from your videos. Praise God for you and your channel and your passionate, loving hearts. Aww, that is such a sweet thank comment. You. Thank you so much. And then Evelyn had a hermit crab that had no eyes. And thanks to our info, he is thriving and has grown back one of them. Yes. Awesome. That would be so sad not to have eyes. I know. Um, That's so cool. We have one, um, we call him Cappy. And I think there's a picture of him on the website, actually. Mm -hmm. So we got him from, he's one of our original beach crabs. And you'll even see on there, he still doesn't have quite the color as some of our other ones. Like he fought back from being a beach crab, guys. But he had only one eye, and he's molted several times and just has not regenerated um, that second eye. But man, he gets along just fine, and he's in the water, and he's out and about. So he's grown quite a bit since we've had him. Um, if you are having a problem with ants, please DM me, and I'll help you personally, um, because that can be kind of a whole situation. Um, so yeah, personal experience with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and if you have anything, if we're missing a question, you can also personal message me, and I'll answer you as well. I answer every single DM. So, um, how did you guys learn so much about hermit crabs? You know what? I'm going to, like, give credit where credit is due. 100% Crab Street Journal and Lycos. Yep, Land Hermit when Crab Owners Society Land on Facebook. Land Hermit Crab Owners Society. Crab Street Journal is, was their website and their kind of blog area that was created first. And then when Facebook kind of was came about on the scene and was really popular, they started the Facebook group, Land Hermit Crab Owner Society. But that's the same group. It's the same recommendations, the same people running both of them. Um, and Stacy is kind of a top person over there, but there's a lot of moderators too. But um, she travels to exotic pet shows and advocates and educates, which is what we will also be oh, doing we as soon do as that. COVID yeah. is over and they open all that up. Um, but yeah, she travels states, several different states and doing that. Um, you know, she's at Lycos and Crab Street Journal finally mm -hmm. just this year actually became a nonprofit mm -hmm. um, organization, which is so awesome. Oh my and goodness. So, yes, they just did their boardwalk ad. Is yeah. that what you're gonna say? Sorry, yeah. I got too excited. So if you were over there, if you're familiar, like they just put up a an ad on the boardwalk um, that talks about Jonathan Livingston Crab, who unfortunately passed away this year, but he was 45 years with his owner. So who who knows how long he was in the wild before he was even captured? But he lived in captivity for 45 years. Unbelievable. Anyways, and so he's on the ad and just um, gives their link, of course, to go for information. Um, but hopefully that's just to t teach people, like, these are not throwaway pets. Um, these are not, you know, you, you're not going to have them for a month and be done with it. So it's a commitment. They're wonderful animals, um, very complex. So anyway, like, super cool that they're putting that ad up. Yeah, we could go on and on. Yeah, we could go on. <laughs> there was a Crab CrabCon. Yep. So that's, I mean, that's truly where we yep. all, all of our recommendations 100% comes yes. from um, yes. the Crab Street Journal and Lycos. Which and... Is, why we link them on our website because yes I, we're not here for competition no we're like, here to add more information out there absolutely yes. yeah we're we're joining them on their mission which is to educate and advocate um, and that's what our mission is and so we we just had the YouTube Avenue um, because honestly my daughters were in film in high school and they're like hey we like we like YouTube we can edit videos and I was like all right, let's give this a try. This will be mm -hmm. like a fun family thing. And it's grown to this, which because of you guys is so amazing. And we really are like reaching a lot of people. Um, but that's, that's honestly where all of our information comes from. And they're a wonderful organization. So. Um, Anonymous Jerry says, I've seen some people say bad things about bloodworms. Please message me and let me and just tell me so I can look it up and do some research on it. Because if there's some bad things about them, we don't want to feed them and we'll you know, make an announcement about it. Yeah. Um, I will say that's another reason we chose Lycos. You know, in the beginning, we were researching a lot of different places. And like I said, 
you know, we would read something, do that to our tank, things wouldn't go well, we'd go back to the internet, try something different, change it. And what, what made us stick with Lycos and Crab Street Journal is the fact that they are research based and currently still continuing research. So um, I know from behind scenes of knowing these people, um, they run actual research tests all the time. Long crab keepers that have had crabs for 20, you know, 30 years. And so they will test a product um, or a theory or a method and um, gather all the data and, and things like that. So I wanna be a part of somebody that's always searching for the best. And even if that means that we did something in the past that wasn't that great, we're willing to say, hey, we thought that was good, but after further research or new information, um, you know, that's not, that wasn't the best and now we're gonna change it, so. Yep. Da, da, da. All right, so we have been live for one hour, so we're going to be wrapping it up pretty soon. How many more minutes do you think? Do y'all see all those crabs? There's one there, one there, one there. Everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, honey is a great example of us changing mm -hmm. care Yeah. Um, because we no longer recommend feeding honey. And I probably need to repost that now that we've gained following. But yeah. Um, yeah, we don't recommend feeding honey anymore because even though it's not toxic to ingest, it's very sticky and we, we've we seen some problems with it sticking into gills or getting causing problems. Yeah. Yep. Do you have a protein skimmer in your saltwater tank? No, we don't, but I'm going to look up and do some research on it. I mean, we test the water. Um, it's filtered aerated and tested and we do frequent water changes because we have so many crabs um and we have some live plants in there as well which helps out, so. they're telling you to look behind you because our crabs are going crazy <laughs> y'all i swear every time we film these crabs just always come out they're here for y'all they are they're here for the show that's why we have we you see we film a lot right in this corner yeah. it's because they're always there and it makes it interesting <laughs> Yeah, they love this forest side. They love it a lot more than the beach side, which is so interesting. Well, and then this goes back to the research part, right? So they live in the forest side and they travel. By beaches. By beaches. Yes. But they, they still live by beaches, guys. Yeah, yeah, they travel to the beach for their salt water, for spawning, probably for scavenging at night, you know, for things that wash up on shore, but, you know, where they're safer and in, in the, at night, you know. Um, so I guess if we stayed up all night or we put like our waist camera over in the beach, maybe they're over on the beach side more in the evening. But yeah, uh, I would assume that makes sense because beaches are more open. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Seagulls. yep. Yeah. So anyway, uh, they that's live. That's why we set it up like this was research based. Like we wanted to see, you know, do they like wood do they, better? Shells? Yeah. Do they like the trees? Do they like the, the leaf litter and all of that and fresh water? versus the shells and the rocks and salt water. And then also on the beach side, we have the UVB lights, because that's kind of, you know, a lot of research being done on do hermit mm -hmm. crabs need UVB. Um, right now, it's, it's no. Um, that's kind of the going theme or idea is like they can have either LED or UVB. It doesn't hurt them, but they don't need it. And so we're like, all right, well, we're gonna be part of the research. Um, and so we stuck a UVB light in one tank on the beach side and we're just collecting data like how often are crabs over there do they like to be up close to the light what time of day is that you know what species of crab because we have seven species um and so that kind of helps too so yeah there there are more crabs that are coming out they're they're saying hi everyone they're excited about our new website and merch also they want their food that we have here oh <laughs> yeah they're probably hungry um mm -hmm. You said you have a pet cam. So we do have a pet cam. It's not set up right now just because we haven't set it up. Actually, there are so many plugs in here. <laughs> there are so many things plugged in this room that plugging in another thing is kind of difficult. We have to bring in an extension cord. Actually, for the lights we have, yeah. we have to bring it in from the hallway because we're using all the plugs for all of these tanks. Yeah. So we're gonna try and set it up eventually, but it's not set up right now. But we are gonna try and record more content of just our hermit crabs yes. climbing around, moving around, so you guys can just watch them. 
Um, and so, I yeah. I set up the camera, like, just for the day. Just set it here and y'all could watch. Yeah. Does a bottle of Prime expire? Um, I can't remember on the top of my head, if I'm honest. Let me grab ours. And someone said name the strawberry cheesecakes. We have two we can name. Cheesecake. We can name one, shortcake and cheesecake. That would be really cute. We definitely cannot smell those to see if it's expired because it's... <laughs> it, yeah, horrid, it's supposed always. to smell bad. It smells like sulfur. Maybe set up a GoPro. That would be so cool. We wish we could find a way to live stream like a feed, but we don't know how to do that. We'd have to do some research on it. I do not see one on this bottle. I remember somebody asking about this on Lycos, and I don't think it expires. Let me look it up. Yeah, I was on their website a while back, actually. We look it up, but it's hard to remember everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know I've read that, though, somewhere. Let me see. You're not the first one to ask that question. No. Does Prime go bad? Mm, let's see. I mean, I wouldn't use one if I had it for like 10 years or something, but I know for sure it's It good. lasts quite a while. Yeah, I would. Let's see. It does not go bad, is what they're saying on the Lycos group. So if we ever don't remember something, we just go to the group and then we can search our question and pull up posts where other people have asked it so that's what I'm doing um, they're saying no yeah I'm pretty sure that's what I remember reading yeah I'm pretty sure as well but I wanted to double check yeah we haven't had ours that long we go we've gone through a couple bottles in a couple years so maybe one bottle yeah because yeah. we had a little bottle yeah, that's long. Um, the person asking about the protein skimmers too I was it just reminded me that because I was reading that on here on the prime bottle it's hermit crab pools are different than your fish aquariums and you know we don't have the hermit crabs don't live in the pool they will go in and they will spend some time in there you know we've had some hermit crabs spend a couple hours in there before but you know they don't live in the water they don't have constant waste you're not adding food to the water and that sort of thing so it's a little it's quite different from you know keeping aquariums um but we and we we said this earlier in the live, but we do have a video coming out on these more advanced pools very soon. Actually, it's already been recorded. We just have it's in the process of being edited and everything. So um, keep your eye out for that. We'll have some more information about it. But we will double check into the protein skimmer. Um, as far as I know, I don't know of any crab keepers that use it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll look into it for sure. If you scoot over a little bit, do y'all see way? that way? There is, that's enough. You can see the little crab cave. Someone has dug a little cave right there. All right, so how many more questions do we want to take? Because we've been live for an hour and 10 minutes. Okay. A couple more. Two. Two more questions? Because we have two big announcements. So yes. two more questions. Dun, dun, dun. That crab has been on the wheel like this whole time. That's Monica. Also, if you asked a question and when it didn't get answered, please DM it to me. Hey, I want to answer. Y oh yeah, the one with one eye. That's Wait, she's cat. very purple. Yeah, look at her. She, did she, she must have just molted. Wow. There's Kathy. She's so she is probably one of the only crabs left that we have from a beach shop. Because the other ones we have adopted out after rehabilitating them. Yeah. Or several of them did pass away from PPS. But Cappy, we know. Yeah, well, we didn't do PPS because we didn't know. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. We have so many crabs, y'all. It's kind of hard to remember. But um, Cappy, we know because. One eye. One eye. She's our only crab with one eye that hasn't grown back. She still has one eye? Yeah. Okay, good. Because they can grow eyes back, but she just hasn't. I don't know why. Something else must have happened. All right, I'm going to try and find a good question. That's Smelly Cat and Monica on the wheel. Don't let anybody tell you purple pinchers can't be active because Smelly Cat is <laughs> out all the time. All the time. 
So this isn't a question, so I'm not going to count it, but this says, I bet if you put an Alexa in with your crabs, they would order millions of dollars worth of food, climbing stuff, and supplies. <laughs> That's so funny you said that because literally today, before this, I told my Alexa in my room to play ocean music because I'm going to, I think I want to put ocean music in here on the Alexa just to like play ocean music for them. I'm crazy, maybe. I don't know. Our crabs <laughs> do not all have names. Some of them do. The more crabs we got, the kind of it's kind of hard to keep them apart. Well, it's I mean, tell them apart. We, because we do the adopting and fostering and adopting and fostering, we have so many coming in and out. It's hard to keep up with the names. But the crabs that we are our forever crabs have names. You know, I just realized we're not getting any questions. Are y'all guys just like wanting us to stay on? You're like, no, no one asks questions. <laughs> we're gonna stay on. That's funny. <laughs> Well, if we don't get any questions, we're just going to have to end it. How can I make my crabs more active? That's I think, a big question. Honestly, follow the care recommendations. Um, our videos are pretty specific. We have all the different aspects of care. I know, I know, it seems overwhelming. It seems like a lot. And it, you might even say, you're like, surely that's like, they don't actually need that. If you want thriving crabs they need that they really do i mean we're sitting here in front of tanks that we do what we 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 do what we preach like we tell you guys about the care recommendations that we actually practice and we've had great success these practices come from years of research from people who also have had great success i mean you guys just think about it like hermit crabs don't breed in captivity like that's not been a thing you know, you can count on one hand the amount of people in the world that have ever successfully, you know, had breeding hermit crabs. So, but I can tell you in the uh, Lycos group, more and more people are having their hermit crabs breed. Now, they're not all trying to actually bring them to land because that's a pretty big commitment and it's a lot of money and that time and that sort of thing. But the fact that their hermit crabs are breeding tells us that we are getting really close to the conditions that they actually experience in, the, in their natural habitat. So if you want crabs to act like crabs, you have to create an environment that, that helps them to do that, that they feel comfortable um, to be in. Mm -hmm. you know, and heat and humidity is so important. Um, we get so many questions, you know, seal the whole tank, how are they gonna breathe? There's no air. They don't breathe air. They breathe the moisture in the air. They have gills. And so we have to seal up those tanks and have that heat and humidity so that they can actually breathe. So if your heat is too low, they're gonna be very inactive because they're cold and they're gonna bury, they're gonna hide, they're gonna be in their shell. Um, if it gets too, too cold, they actually go into a state of, um, what's the word, Brooke? Sorry, I was reading comments and I don't know what you're talking about. Like, they don't go into hibernation, but like when they start to shut down. Torpor? Like, torpor. Thanks. Wait, yeah, hermit crabs? No, but like, it's like that. Oh, gotcha. I can't remember the word for it. Mm, COVID brain, sorry. So, they go into that state to preserve, you know, the energy that they have while it's so cold. Um, for humidity, literally, if the if it's not humid enough, they can't breathe. They're suffocating. They're slowly suffocating. So it's so important. Um, if they're not having the correct nutrients, then they can't they can't actually go through the whole process of molting. Which actually, you guys, there's um, we're gonna do a video about molting in depth so that you guys have this understanding. But it is so complex the whole molting process from when it starts to when it finishes. And if they don't have the nutrients that they need. They cannot complete their molt. So, new, you know, what they're eating is so important. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to have more active crabs, um, truly just watch the videos, um, read Crab Street Journal, ask questions in the Lycos group, DM us with questions, um, and, and yeah, just get the right environment. You'll see a difference. And I know, like, you guys watching, we've heard from a lot of you who have done that and have seen a huge difference. So, like tell you know tell tell people like it may it's worth it it's worth going through and doing it the right way yes um i think to the more crabs you have sometimes it's easier to see more activity rates right it's but certain... only care for as many as you're able to have please don't just overload yeah. your tank yeah but if you have the space and the means for you know a bigger tank 55 gallon 75 gallon 90 gallon 
um, then you can have a few more hermit crabs and then I mean they live in hundreds in nature like they're you know that's they like to be together I mean they are we have so many hermit crabs up here just huddled well actually they're all coming down for dinner but anyway they huddle together all the time the babies too the little captive bread babies I have these little like seed pods um, they're not mm -hmm. seed pods what are, what are those it's like a gourd, like a hollowed out gourd. They're like No, it is a tiny. seed pod. Yeah. Just a really big seed. Okay. Anyways, they're hollowed golf. out. Bigger than golf. Hey, one time I found one, like it had like eighteen little caterpillar babies in there. Can all you the post that picture? So we'll be posting that picture on our Instagram if you want to see well, it's it. It's the cutest thing. And another thing about the captive bred babies that we're finding is they like to be up high. Mm -hmm. So it must be a natural instinct. Um they and so actually our purple pinchers are almost always up high in the toppers almost yeah. always so that tells us that they typically live up high in trees which mm -hmm. has been observed in the wild and some people are a little bit confused when we say that they live in forest <laughs> <laughs> they lived on the beach in forest and it's like what does that mean so they live near the beach not not always sometimes they live on the beach but mostly when they're found in the wild they are living in trees in a foresty type area mm -hmm. by the beach so that they can walk to the beach where there's yeah. salt water. Under fallen trees, mm -hmm. driftwood, rocks. rocks. Yeah. yeah, so it's not like a, a rainforest with those right. types of trees. Right. They're still kind of like palm trees, right. beachy, coastal. coastal type yeah. places. Yeah. So I can see how that's confusing mm -hmm. when we say that. Um, I'm trying to find a really good last question. Hmm. Can you see this ball right here? Yeah. The picture? Yeah, it's just there's a lot. It's kind this, of a cloudy. This little ball right here was over on this side yesterday. Those are just cat toys, and there's one back there that used to be in the front. Oh, this is a good question. Okay. With only a few people breeding hermit crabs, should we be worried about inbreeding? So, it's an interesting question. Um, I know that Mary, okay, so Mary is the only person successfully breeding to the point where that could even be a concern. Um, there are, have been some other people who have been successful in getting a few to land, but she's the only one that has enough to actually adopt out. So, you know, this is a huge learning curve. Like I said, there's very little science even available. Um, and so we're all kind of on a journey to figure this out and make a difference in, in the industry. That being said, I know that with every um, spawn that Mary has had, she observes all the hermit crabs for an entire year while she raises them before she can adopt them out. And she keeps back a few of each spawn that seem to be the healthiest, um, she keeps them back for personality, most active, their coloration, um, you know, is also something that she keeps an eye on. And so I know she's doing that in hopes of second and third and fourth generation breeding. Do we know the answer to that? I'm not sure, um, that we really yeah. know the answer to that yet, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We have to get some the land before we can even like. Yeah. Think about that. Speaking of, <laughs> on our website, we finally have documented our entire 2020 breeding journey. We have both attempts. Now, the second attempt does have less information. Yes. And you'll see on there why, because we wrote a little note. But the first one goes in pretty detail about it. And so we would love if you guys would read that because, unfortunately, we didn't do the YouTube content on that journey as much as we had wanted to. Yeah. Um, just because it's very difficult when you're doing that much work to remember to film and you're also s in a dark room sticking yeah. your hand into a jar, not your hand, but you know, in a, well, you may not know what I mean, a, a pipette into a jar in the dark, which you can't see on camera and then the babies are tiny. So that's yeah. why we hope we'll have a microscope this summer to help that be on YouTube. Um, but for now, our first year breeding will just be on the blog for now. Yeah, but there, there are some videos, actually three 
really cool videos that have not been seen before. Mm -hmm. That we did get, yeah, and they're yeah, cool. That are on those um, two different blogs. And so they are, to me, tear jerkers. Like they're pretty, pretty cool, pretty amazing. All right, so we, Savannah, to answer your question, we are going to end the stream pretty much right now. Yes. Guys, if you have more questions, you can always reach out on Facebook. You, we have a messaging portal there. You can reach out on Instagram. We have a thing where you can DM us there, and those two are the main ones. We can respond very quickly. Um, but then you can also email us at crabcentralstation at gmail.com. However, that usually has a delayed response because we don't get as many notifications for it. Um, but yeah, if we miss your question, we don't want it to go unanswered. Yeah. And then we will let you take it away. Yeah. So just to finish up, first of all, thanks to all of you guys who super chat and donated to the breeding, our breeding program, Journey to Land. We totally appreciate that. Thank you so much. That was not our, that was a yeah. surprise. Like we had, we were not expecting that. So thank you very much. Thank you to all of you who have already headed over to the website and left a review. Um, we really appreciate that, you guys. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and supporting us. Like I said, like we're on this journey with you. Like we really feel like we're on this journey with you. And and without you guys supporting the channel, watching the videos, sharing the videos, subscribing to the channel, and and all of that kind of like this would not be possible at all. Would not mm -hmm. be possible. So um, thank you, all of yep. you, so much. We are very very appreciative. And we love getting all of your comments and messages and, you know, you're all so loving and mm -hmm. caring and supportive um, and allowing yes. us to help you on your journey. Like, we'd love to do that. So You can also you reach so us much. on YouTube comments. I forgot to say oh, yeah. that. Yeah, we get those all the time. Did you guys see that? <laughs> that crab went flying. That crab yeah, went flying. Line. Did y'all see that? That was so funny. Um, that kind of threw off, <laughs> threw off, but also the merch. Thank you guys. If you yes. will, if you purchase the merch, please tag us on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, yes. If, let's see your merch when you get it. Yes, we want to see it. Um, there's a little commercial on our shop, um, that kind of tells you how the website works, how to order and a little bit about the company that we use and, and all of that. So, um, be sure to watch that just so you kind of know. Mm -hmm how the yeah. shop works but and thanks you guys yes. so much thank you for joining us live i'm so excited thank you for being excited and um yeah we're just mm -hmm. so appreciative thanks you guys we'll see you next time bye bye